assalamu alaikum today in this lecture we are going to discuss about medicinal chemistry of thiopental sodium which is also known as thiopentane or thiopentane sodium that is a derivative of the barbiturate acid or it comes under the headings of the barbiturate so in this video we will going we are we are going to cover medicinal chemistry and mechanism of action of thiopentane sodium we discuss about the drug class of thiopental sodium or thiopentane sodium it belongs to anesthetics or general anesthetics broadly these two are the categories in which thiopental sodium falls or barbiturates or induction or maintenance of anesthesia or anesthetic agent so this is the four basic class you might have heard other classes as well so the description of the thiopental sodium is as follows thiopental or thiopentane sodium or thiopentane is an ultra short acting drug or ultra short acting cns depressant so it is a major cns depressant which produces or which produces its action or hypnosis and anesthesia but not an anesthesia so this drug has the property of the producing hypnosis and anesthesia but it has nothing to do with analgesia so remember this point it might have been asked in your examination or whatever it has nothing to do with analgesia so thiopental is used for induction of so basically it is uh, as anesthesia it is used for short surgical procedures as it is ultra short acting drug diagnostic purposes and therapeutic diagnosis or therapeutic purposes i hope this makes sense now we were going to discuss about its chemistry the in the chemistry the first thing is structure i will try my best to make it easy for you people to understand so try to understand how i'm going to write this so we are having sodium carbonyl carbon then carbon then again carbonyl carbon then nitrogen which is bonded with the carbon and sulfur sodium sulfur and the first carbon or the adjacent carbonyl carbon is surrounded by c2h5 and then we are having ch ch3 ch2 ch2 and ch3 so this is the basic structure of the thiopental sodium now we will cover its synthesis how the synthesis or the reactions takes place to form this thiopental sodium so the starting compound for this synthesis is now you have to remember this thing these steps we have having ch2 cwo c2h5 cwo c2h5 this structure or this derivative is known as diethyl malonate or diethyl malonic acid this will undergo reaction with the c2h5 ona now we are having reaction with c2h5 o and n now consider this ch2 and cwo c2h5 the blue color highlights that this c2h5 is taken up by first hydrogen and the second hydrogen is present as it is then it is further going to react with ch3 ch2 two molecules of the ch2 then ch then ch3 br with the presence of the in the presence of the c2h5 ona so it will form now again remember the first carbon which is the central carbon i am taking here is remains same c cwo c2h5 cwo c2h5 it is remains same as we have in the previous structure now we have c2h5 this this is also the same structure now this hydrogen has been replaced thus the remaining hydrogen is replaced by the precursor or the derivative which i have been mentioned here so like ch ch3 ch2 two molecules then we are having ch3 now it is undergoing further reaction with thiourea sulfur 
or carbon then we are having NH2 NH2 this is the thyroidia which is going to form the ring now this carbon is the same C2H5 is the same and now CH CH3 this is the same carbon which is which have been attached with the primary carbon CH2 two molecules and CH3 I hope this makes sense now we are having this carbon we are having this another carbon which are the carbonyl carbons as we have mentioned here then we are having another nitrogen taken up from thyroidia another nitrogen taken up from thyroidia which is ultimately linked to carbon atom and sulfur atom so this is the thyroidia i hope this makes sense so this is all about the structure of the and synthesis of the thiopental sodium now the most important part in the pharmacology of mechanism of action of thiopental sodium is the mechanism of action so as discussed earlier thiopental sodium is the seen as depressant so it is an inhibitory drug means it has to be worked on some type of the inhibitory neurotransmitter so it acts on the GABA A receptor so what is GABA A receptor let's discuss about it GABA A receptor is the is actually the family of the receptor family composed of the five subunits uh, let me discuss it let me write here so it is a pentameric structure pentam means five or anything or any unit which is composed of the five subunits what are these five subunits? These five subunits are the GABA A receptor consists of two alpha units, two alpha subunits, two beta units, and one gamma unit. Now this is the basic structure basic structure of the GABA A receptor or I try to maintain here like we are having two alpha units two beta units and one gamma units this black line these two black lines shows extracellular and intracellular structure so that was extracellular and now this is intracellular so this is important in conductance of the ions in this case like this is the green color is showing over here are the points where different neurotransmitter or drugs act so we are having this unit is known as the GABA unit means GABA can bind here another site for the GABA then we are having this barbiturate site so barbiturate act here like any drug so like we are having thiobental sodium it will act here too. then this is another site which is adjacent to alpha and the gamma receptor in this side is commonly known as for okay the, the orange line which i am men mentioning here is representing chloride ion conductance so when GABA bind with any of the unit any of the receptor it will open the gated channels and chloride ion enters so what barbiturates and thiopental sodium does it has two binding sites like we are having discussed two binding sites one on the alpha and one on the beta side on adjacent alpha and beta sites i hope this makes sense now you people have to remember that thiobental sodium or the barbiturates have two distinct sites one on the alpha unit one on the beta unit so the proposed mechanism for barbiturates or thiobental sodium are as follows barbiturates or thiobental sodium which rates or thiopental sodium it basically facilitates the action of the GABA okay now remember which rate facilitates the action of the GABA GABA itself is an inhibitory neurotransmitter at the central nervous system so whenever it activates or bind to the GABA receptor it hyperpolarization takes place so inhibitory effect takes place so they increase the duration of the GABA gated ion channels GABA gated ion channels means GABA gated ion channels has chloride ion channels so 
whenever the barbiturates or thiopentyl sodium act on the GABA, GABA receptor, they open up and chloride channel opening and therefore chloride anal uh, sorry chloride ions movement takes place from extracellular to the intracellular and obviously at higher doses the which rates may be GABA mimetic directly so these are the basic mechanism of barbiturates or thiopental sodium so this makes sense so this is i am going to discuss about the chloride and in the uh, influx like when barbiturates act or thiopental act on alpha or beta side it causes opening of the chloride and channel and thereby causing hyperpolarization i hope this makes sense the second proposed mechanism now you can understand the concept of the barbiturates and thiopental sodium that is barbiturates or thiopental sodium do not confuse about it barbiturates or thiopental sodium also depresses also depresses the action of excitatory free neurotransmitter uh, you people might have heard that in our body obviously excitatory free neurotransmitter and excitatory free neurotransmitter inhibitory neurotransmitter are there so barbiturates along with the inhibitory effect it also suppresses the excitatory neurotransmitter which is known as glutamic acid so glutamic acid is excitatory neurotransmitter so barbiturates have the ability have the potential to depress the glutamic acid via binding to the ampa receptor so this is another mechanism another inhibitory mechanism obviously like first is the inhibitory effect associated with the gaba GABA itself is a gamma monobutyric acid itself is an inhibitory neurotransmitter and the suppression of the excitatory neurotransmitter. So it potentiate or is uh, what we again say it is uh, it suppress the excitatory neurotransmission as well, which is my which uh, serves as the ability to induce full in surgical anesthesia. I hope this makes sense. now let me discuss about the summary of the mechanism of action so i hope this makes sense to you people what is the gaba a receptor what is the pentameric structure what are the alpha beta and gamma subunits so thiopental sodium or barbiturates remember it has two binding sites one on the alpha side one on the beta side okay so whenever whenever barbiturates bind to the bind to such positions such receptors it will facilitate the action of the GABA and in turn which will in turn causing the depolar sorry hyperpolarization of the membrane by influx of the chloride and from outside to the inside of the cell so let's suppose let's imagine this is the pentameric structure obviously they have no five sides but just for the understanding i have written here like we are having the blue color side of the GABA means the GABA has to bind here normally one GABA or maximum two GABAs are bind to the receptors but when barbiturates occupy any of the GABA A receptor it will facilitate the GABA -gic transmission so more GABA will attach to the remaining spaces like I have written in the orange uh, uh, writing so whenever more GABA will attach to this so more chloride ion conductance will take place and it will cause this hyperpolarization Thank you very much. I'm signing off. I'm not missing. Please keep subscribing our channel and visit and follow us. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.